Welcome to this presentation on Team Center Rapid Start. Videos in the Team Center Rapid Start series cover the introduction to Rapid Start, using the rich client, concepts of Team Center, searching within Team Center, working with items and working with data sets, a brief introduction to workflows, I'll be showing the structure manager, and then the engineering order workflow supplied with Rapid Start. Workflows are the automation of the flow of business processes to accomplish a defined objective. Documents, information and tasks can pass between participants during the completion of a workflow process. Processes can have any number of tasks arranged in a serial or parallel progression. Processes used to find tasks to automatically notify selected individuals requesting work review and sign-off. The example of workflow used in this presentation is a development release process which seeks the approval for the release and then prevents any further changes after the approval is granted. On completion, the files receive a status of 30, showing a development release. To initiate the workflow, I first select the item revision to be released. The command is File New Workflow Process. The process name is defaulted to the item revision selected. The selected items and data sets are added to the process as targets. From the list of process templates, I select the development release template. Selecting the process template tab shows the flowchart defined in the template. The start task will initiate the workflow. In self check task will set up the file access and request the name of the checker who the next task will be sent to. In approval is the task for sign off by the checker. The last task, status, sets the status of the files upon approval. The assignment of tasks can be done at this stage through the assign all tasks tab. For this demonstration, the task assignment will be done after the workflow has started. Selecting OK completes the workflow command. The workflow is in process and Team Center starts the system tasks. The in process icon shows next to the item and data set targets. File access control has been modified to protect the targets from change. The system has sent the first task to the originator of the workflow. Workflow tasks appear under the tasks to perform in the My Work List tab. The task to perform is to sign off and approve the workflow process. The viewer tab is showing the task view. Instructions, the users involved and the response is displayed. The Process View tab shows the current location of the task in the workflow. The Originator approves the sign-off decision and adds comments if required. The workflow sends the next task to the Originator's task to perform list. This task is to select who will check and approve the release of the document. A user with the role of checker from the engineering group is selected. That is the last task for the originator to perform. The current workflow is moved to the originator's tasks to track folder so the user can follow the workflow at any time without having to search for it. The user who is to check the document is currently using Microsoft Word. Word has an inbuilt Team Center client. The user can log into Team Center using the Word client. The Word client has many similar functions to the rich client used before. In the navigation panel, a user can browse and open Word documents directly from Team Center.
A Worklist tab for interacting with workflow tasks is included in the Word client. The checker can view the new task and open the target documents for reading. Upon review, the checker signs off the task approving the release of the specification document. Back in the Originators workspace, the task is completed and removed from the Task to Track folder. The item revision and specification data set have been released for development with a status of 30. The development and release workflow has now been completed. For more information, please watch the next video in the Introduction to Team Centre Rapid Start series.